Gantia Blackbird of Blackbird's Brew. Happy Wednesday and welcome to Journey Through the Runes. This week we are looking at Laguz, the fifth of Tears Age and the 21st of the Elder Futhark. The core meaning of Laguz is to do with water, life, and conductive energies. This takes us straight to the element of water as well as physical water. It can involve the contemplation of what life requires to survive and thrive, and conductive energies can refer to physical energy or to your intuition or magical energies. The shape of this room resembles an inverted capital L. When I look at it, what's brought to mind is a really tall cliff with this waterfall flowing down the side. Uh, but others have compared it to a leak hanging off of a mug of beer, which was a charm meant to protect, uh, to protect the drinker from poison. Uh, but still others see it as the prow of a Viking boat. You know, their boats go up and then you have that beautiful dragon figure at the top. And that's just what they see when they look at Lagoos. Now, some runes lend themselves more easily to individual interpretation than others, and it does seem that Laguz, like water itself, is quite reflective of the person who is interpreting it. So uh, don't forget when you are looking at this and trying to figure out what it means for you, uh, don't leave yourself out of that picture because what you are bringing into it is feeding into what that rune is representing. Now, the watery aspect of Laguz is quite significant. We know that literal water can take us from place to place, provided we have a vessel suitable to make that journey that can stand up to the conditions of water. The same principle applies if we find ourselves on a mental, emotional, or spiritual journey. The water we're traversing is the element of water and all that it represents, and our soul is the vessel upon which we travel, and it needs to be up to it. Uh, because there's a need to operate more intuitively and allow oneself to be carried by the flow, because if we could think our way through this kind of journey, there'd be signs of air and mental energy, but Laguz, by contrast, takes us into the realm of emotions, intuition, and spiritual perception. And becoming a vessel fit for that journey requires that we shore up our reserves of earth, fire, and air energy, because our watery aspects are about to be thrown into an absolute tizzy. Creating a sense of security in other areas helps prevent us from becoming utterly overwhelmed. It's an unforced journey. We can't rush our way through it or control the conditions we experience. We can only flow along with it. This is surrendering to that which is beyond our ability to control and recognizing that all we can control, at least in this situation, is our response to it. So clearly, there is more than the usual need to consider the context in which this rune appears. Uh, think of it in relation to the other runes that have appeared in the spread and examine it from just as many angles as you possibly can. Uh, it's good mental exercise for a start, but it also requires that you listen more to your intuition because as you come up with possibilities, you will find that instinctively you will lean more towards some and away from others, and that can be very instructive as you go about a full interpretation. So let's cover three different possibilities. Possibility one, Laguz is coming up to tell you that you are not standing on solid ground. The situation in which you find yourself is fluid, and you will need to employ the appropriate coping skills. Uh, possibility two, you are being drawn into the world of your feelings. Feelings are reactionary by nature and discovering what your deepest feelings are reacting to uh, will be most instructive for you. And possibility three, a journey beckons. Uh, not everything that occurs along the way is going to be subject to your will or a product of your will. So embrace flexibility creativity, and the spirit of exploration. So that is what I have to say about the rune Laguz. Share with me your own thoughts and experiences and ideas regarding this rune in the comments section below, or come see me at Blackbird's Brew on Gilded. Link in the description box to join the group. It is perfectly free and always will be. Uh, so come in, introduce yourself, and uh, let's have a conversation. I would absolutely uh, enjoy that, and you are, are of course, very welcome. Uh, but that will do it for now, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.